those are all great things, man. You, <laughs> you got me excited. I think I'm going to drive down and catch the music bingo. Hey, you come on up. We'll get dinner. So. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Ted Kelly with another Ted's Hospitality Minute. Hey, today's guest is Derek Rowe. He is the GM at Hotel Indigo Atlanta Vinings. And he's going to come on, chat a little bit about all the wonderful things that's going on up there at his hotel. And also going to lighten us probably on some uh, some upcoming news that may be coming toward uh, that area. Hey, Derek, how are you? I'm well. How are you, Ted? I am doing well, sir. Hey, I appreciate you giving us a few minutes of your time today. I know you guys are, are busy, and uh, but we're looking forward to hearing a lot of good things about you and your property and uh, the things going on up in Vining. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. So, all right. Hey, usually before I dive into, you know, discussions and, and questions and things like that, I always like our viewers to know a little bit of background on you. Were you, uh, you know, were you always destined to be in hospitality or uh, was there a left turn that you made somewhere that said, hey, this is this place for me or what? Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, you know, I always wanted to be a pilot and I was in college sort of working at a hotel and then that just kind of that was my left turn right and i kind of curved out of out of air uh, airlines and by the time i was you know like oh man i really want to be a pilot i was already a department head and i was not going to change it up then so <laughs> <laughs> too, too late to turn back now right exactly i'm, I'm here in it <laughs> Now, are you from the Atlanta area or where are you from? I'm not. I actually grew up in Ohio, um, rural, rural Ohio. Um, not even really any hotels where I grew up. So, um, but I um, moved down to Tampa for a while, uh, started at the Weston and uh, Harbor Island there. I was always a food and beverage guy. So I did that for a few, uh, about two years, did some task force um, actually up in Manchester, Vermont at a luxury collection hotel up there, the Equinox, um, did food and beverage there, switched over to uh, a ski resort in Vermont, food and beverage there, and then um, ended up working for Kempton, uh, the Taconic Hotel in Manchester, um, at which time I did some task force, and that's what brought me to Atlanta, so. Oh, wow, okay, so you made it, you've made a nice little journey. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> It hasn't been boring. It sounds like it definitely has not. <laughs> I've uh, gotten to experience quite a few, quite a few places. So, which is, it's been nice learning the different, different markets. So. Okay, awesome. Tell me a little bit about uh, about you. What what's a day in the life for you at your hotel up in uh, up in Vining? You know, it can it can go either way. It can be a really smooth day, or I can not sit down at all. So. Um, you know, it, it's good. I've got a really good team here. Um, they, the guests love them. Our, our loyalty scores are through the roof. Um, you know, overall service, they, they do a great job. So um, my day, I just, I, I come in and you know what I really like are the days when I can just kind of goof off with them a little bit. That's, that's probably my favorite thing to do. Um, so I try to make at least an hour or two or the whole day of that as much as I possibly can. So <laughs> Right. What's the biggest challenge that you have uh, facing you kind of right now at your hotel? Um, I would say, you know, it's it's time for a renovation, which we are planning um, to start in Q3. So, you know, kind of getting to that point and just being on top of any guest issues that arise until then and having the empathy for it and the service recovery aspect, if, if need be. Um, that's probably our biggest challenge at the moment. So, yeah, and you, you're sitting in a nice area, if I'm not mistaken. I used to live in Atlanta. I think you're sitting, aren't you sitting there near Home Depot headquarters, uh, Cumberland Mall? And, you know, now I guess you got the baseball field right up the street as well, right? We do. Yeah, we're about two miles from Truist Park, um, about, I don't know, a thousand feet from Home Depot headquarters. So, we love Home Depot here, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. So you are really close. I I uh I used to frequent that area a lot. I actually went to school up in Marietta 
Uh, so I used to be in the Cumberland Mall Vining area all the time, and uh, I'm I'm sure it's still busy. It was busy then. I'm sure it's even worse now. It is very busy. I really like this area. You know, I I am I'm used to like Midtown is where I is where I live, but when I come up to Vinings, it it kind of gives me a feeling of that village Vermont uh, quintessential mentality here. I, it's it's quite nice. So yeah. Wow. How many rooms at your hotel? Uh, we have one sixty. Okay, so you got you you definitely got a nice side renovation coming up, huh? <laughs> We certainly do. Yeah, we're we're excited for it. I mean, all the renderings so far are just absolutely gorgeous. So yeah. Oh wow. Hey, hang on. I want to talk about that before I do. Let me give a shout out to our sponsors, so at least they'll keep uh they'll keep helping us pay our bills. THM viewers, this episode is being sponsored by Recovered. If you've experienced a home fire, tornado, or other natural disasters, you know how easy it is to lose everything overnight. Well, Recovered is a new app that allows you to record everything in your home, store it in the cloud for easy retrieval should disaster strike versus you trying to recall all of your household valuables and jewelry and heirlooms to settle your claims a lot faster with your insurance company. You've got enough things to think about if something like that happens. Check out the Recovered app today. Use the promo code on screen and get 50% off. And as always, we like to remind our viewers that like us here on LinkedIn, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you can catch this episode with Derek and others on Spotify and Apple Podcasts as well. And as always, 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 we appreciate your feedback and thoughts. So, Derek, let's talk about that renovation. So, you guys got 150 rooms. You're doing guest rooms and public space, I'm assuming? Indeed we are. Yeah, it's going to be a total, total fresh look for us. Oh my goodness! So you're getting you're getting the uh, the new and uh, latest and greatest and bright and shiny and everything. We are, and you know we're so excited because the renderings really kind of bring forth um, Hotel Indigo's master brand strategy of being the world's neighborhood hotel, right? And um, everything from the railroads to Nellie Mae Rowe, who was an artist who actually had a house um, on our property. It was torn down after her death in 1982 um, and replaced with the hotel. So we're incorporating a lot of that into our neighborhood story. Um, we're actually getting a National Historic Marker placed in front of the hotel on June 1st in um, honor of Nellie Mae Rowe. So, so, so tell, me, tell me a little bit about the uh, meat and potatoes with your renovation. Are you guys um, technology-wise, I guess, sustainability-wise, what are some of the, the nice, you know, pieces of that that you guys are going to that, as opposed to what you have now? Yeah, so um, we are already kind of in that process of upgrading our tech beforehand. Um, so we have, you know, all new streaming services on our TVs. We have, um, you know, we're taking part in the digital check-in with IHG. Um, all of those, we don't have digital key yet, but that's something that we're kind of talking about adding. Um, I would like to, we'll see. So, um, you know, all those things are going to be incorporated in because my mentality on this renovation is, you know, we have a tired product now, but I would really like to start making those service levels of what someone would expect from a nice, freshly renovated new product, get those up now, right? So that we're ready to roll and just really put it into high gear once that renovation is complete. Yeah, yeah, that that's going to be nice. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of great product out there. Uh, you start looking at renovations, and you know you have great designers, and you get the the right procurement company. You can get together and and have a nice product at the end of the day. I, and I only know that because that's really the space that we play in uh, for our real day job. That's what we do as a third party project manager. So we really get into the renovation stuff and, you know, the major uh, maintenance CapEx type projects. That's stuff that we really kind of put our, in our meat and potatoes sort of toolbox, right? So you, you, you're, pro you're probably going to have a great product and that's a great area to say, hey, you know, folks, folks really pay attention to that when they're looking at booking hotels too. So if you've got, you know, bright and shiny versus old and dated over here across the street, you know, usually, usually the bright and shiny is going to get. 
Exactly. Yeah. I think that, you know, we're in a really good market for that and, and the design and um, it kind of sets us apart being a boutique property and we can, you know, be a little bit more casual and um, groovy, I guess you could say, and um, have these activation from our comp set in the near future. So, yeah, I, I look forward to it. You said you guys are going to start when? Um, we're looking at Q3 of this year. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so no hard date yet, you know, procurement, but um, that's what we're yeah. aiming for. Yeah. Well, that's always a good part, getting all the stuff in the uh, in the warehouse before you start, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> but uh, good deal. But no, I look, I look forward to uh, seeing the finished product. Actually, I'm always going through Atlanta a lot, so I'm happy to swing by and take a look at it. But I bet it's going to be really nice. Yeah, you definitely should. So... Yeah. So tell me something. So you talked about some historical piece about the property where the hotel is. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah. So um, there was an artist in the early to mid 1900s. Um, her name was Nellie May Rowe. And her art has been um, on display at galleries nationally at this point. Um, and she was a kind of a neighborhood artist, right? And she would use any anything that she found, whether it be rubbish or canvas, to make art with. And a lot of it was centered around um, around children. So her house actually sat right here um, on this property. And once it was torn down, you know, it was built into the design of the original hotel to have kind of a memorial space for her out front with a with a placard um, explaining who she was and what was important to her and what she tried to bring forth in her art. So, um, you know, we've taken the steps now to get that National Historic Marker, and uh, we're, we're glad to get it through. So we'll host a little reception down there uh, June 1st to commemorate her. And then um, we're working through with uh, Kennesaw State University, uh, their historical art department, to do some uh, picture boards that will be down there as well, and then some uh, benches in her honor. So. Oh, man, that is nice. Yeah. Yeah, we're very excited about it. Yeah, and it's great that you guys recognize that and make the, you know, make the effort to really put the historical marker out there so that, you know, folks can really read about her as they come through the property, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's it's important to us. That's, you know, that's the essence of our brand and what we try to, you know, live in every day, so. Yeah, no, that, is, that is awesome. So tell us, is there any upcoming event other than what you just mentioned? that folks need to be aware of if they're going to be in the Atlanta area or anything like that, that they should know to reach out and say, Hey, book over here at, with Derek at the Hotel Indigo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. So, um, you know, in addition, I, I just got a new chef recently. So um, we've completely relaunched all of our food and beverage at this point um, to the dinner menu being launched last night, which had great feedback. Um, he, his name's Kelly Randall and he comes to us. Uh, he's worked at Breakers in Miami um, a lot of really high end spots. So we're excited about that, but we're pairing that up. We do live music every Thursday um, in our restaurant, the public house. And then tonight, actually, we're going to start uh, Singo, which I'm not sure if you've heard of that, but it's music bingo. Um, so that'll be every Wednesday as well. And I know that there's a couple places around here. It seems pretty popular. We definitely tried it out as a team and loved it. So um, we thought, well, why not bring that to our guests? especially our midweek BT travelers, right? They need something to do at night. You're traveling by yourself. So let's have some fun. Um, but in addition to that, we also, we've been hosting Adopt a Golden Atlanta, um, which is a dog adoption for Goldens here. And we host them once a month and they do a meet and greet um, where they, where you can come to the hotel, meet the dogs, maybe find one that you fall in love with and then move forward with the adoption process. Those are all great things, man. You <laughs> you got me excited. I think I'm going to drive down and catch the music bingo. Hey, you come on <laughs> up. We'll get dinner. So <laughs> that, that really does sound like fun, man. I, I'd be curious to see how that goes. That's interesting. Yeah, I, we're I excited about that it. yet. <laughs> yep, it, it's pretty new, I think. So we're, we're really? getting right on the bandwagon. Yeah, well, we need to we need to make sure we post something like that on our banner when we're uh, putting up your uh, 
your pieces for your upcoming podcast on LinkedIn so folks can look at that. I, I have not heard of music bingo before. Yeah, yeah, I, me either. So absolutely, <laughs> post anything you'd like about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, Derek, hey, thanks so much for giving us a few minutes of your time, man. Hey, we're wishing you the best with the upcoming renovations. You know, I think it's great to have that historical marker piece out there. I think all of that stuff that accents the property in the area always does great things for the property. So, hey, good luck to you on that. And again, thank you for giving us and our audience a few minutes of your time. I think it's awesome. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Chad. It was my pleasure. Really appreciate it. Yep. Yep. And we'll, we'll stay in touch. <laughs> Absolutely. We'll see you soon for dinner. <laughs> all right. THM View is this episode with Derek is being sponsored by Recovery. If you've experienced a home fire, tornado, or other natural disaster, you know how easy it is to lose everything overnight. Well, the Recovery app, a new app, allows you to record everything in your home stored in the clouds for easy retrieval should disaster strike versus you trying to remember and recall all of your household valuables, jewelry, etc. to settle your claims with your insurance company. Check out the Recovered app today. The promos code on screen gets you 50% off today only. And again, this has been another Ted's Hospitality Minute. Please take a minute to check us out on LinkedIn. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, you can hear this episode with Derek on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And as always, we'd love to hear your feedback. Until next time, this is Ted with Ted's Hospitality Minute. And we will see you guys next time. Ted's Hospitality Minute is sponsored by Recover It. Don't wait for disaster to happen to wish you had done this.